So I just returned from Ellensburg where I went out to see some stargazing events. So this week the M44 constellation is directly opposite of the sun and um, I wanted to get it close to uh, the moon as well. And I uh, want to say that I, I enjoyed the benefits of intermittent fasting once again. I, I love how I could go out from Seattle to Ellensburg and back enjoy the locals there without being bogged down about wanting to chase food cravings. Now don't get me wrong, Ellensburg has some very nice local foods, but the problem I have with it is that if I'm constantly chasing food and having food cravings, it really intrudes on other healthy activities, right? Mingling with the locals, making connections, stargazing, relaxing, getting some good sleep, and um, in the past, food cravings have seriously intruded on all of the above. Not to mention during my trip, um, everything is so, uh, in my car is so much cleaner. So I'm burning some Indian incense over there. And um, things don't get terribly cluttered up, right? Uh, I, I got some space for my clothing, for my sleeping bag, and all that. If, if I were eating all the time and having food wrappers and all sorts of crap re revolving around food, right? Having to worry about utensils and all that, there's no way this trip would be near. It would smell bad, it would feel bad. Uh, I mean, I, I ended up camping out in my car because I wanted to get uh, to, to make sure I, I didn't miss any opportunities to get photos of uh, M44 the Beehive Constellation. And um, I want to mention my most recent um, food craving attack because it, it, it gave me another... I keep running into problems and then I get an inspiration to uh, revamp my uh, intermittent fasting. I had gone to a backgammon tournament. It was held at an Applebee's. And um, ordering from Applebee's is tricky enough for me, right? I have dietary restrictions. I finally find out they can make this grilled chicken without any uh, additives. And um, the, the, the waiter there was very nice to me. But unfortunately, well, he, he had to take, he had to tend to my uh, dietary restrictions. And so he forgot to bring the silverware. I had... Um, you know, I, 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 I think I got very uh, carried away with the tournament. And, and when the food came and I especially when you can see it, you can smell it, and you just can't dig it, that's like the worst feeling in the world. I cannot explain in words the feeling. I, I wasn't angry or anything. Um, I tried to call the waiter back. He didn't hear me. I don't know why. I did. Th this is one of the reasons why I really despise big city. Uh, people get so fixated on it. They, they lose their situational awareness. He didn't hear me. And I was so lost. I wasn't angry or anything. I, I was just confused and I got dizzy. I, I'm at the backgammon tournament and I, I, just, I just got dizzy. Fortunately, one of my opponents there, uh, he read my mind. And he, he was like, is there something you need? And... I told him I needed silverware. See, I, I got so lost in thought, I, I couldn't even get out of my seat. Uh, that, that, that's, that's what I meant by eating disorder problems, that I get so um, consumed by eating. That, that's why I, want, I love fasting. When I'm fasting, I don't have to deal with any of this, right? Unfortunately, I, my longest fast to this day is only 61 hours. It's not quite enough. I mean, it's enough to be able to go to a tournament, to be able to go stargazing. It's not quite enough to, to take a trip to, to, to my favorite Gdansk Bay, Poland, or uh, go home to see uh, some of my former classmates. Um, it's not quite enough to, to do that, you know, or go to the computer or Olympiad. I'll have to think about it. One reason I want to fast before I take the trip is that right now as I speak, flying has become very stressful. People get into air rage and all that. And I want to be in a good uh, environment to deal with that if it were to come up. You know, I'm tricky enough when I fly because of the dietary restrictions and all that. Now, I thought about this. I thought about, I obviously can't fast three weeks in a row to go to Poland or go to the Computer Olympiad, which is usually held in Asia. So to give you an idea how ha happy-go-lucky I am when I'm fasting, right now as I'm recording this, all of a sudden somebody decides this is the best time to, to idle their car, and then there's also this... Uh, uh, leaf blower going on. I, I, I really despise people who idle their car. I've always despised it because of health concerns, 
But ever since I started YouTubing a lot, uh, it's like, why? Gee, why? Like, um, I mean, it's not like it's freezing out here. I mean, if, if it were back two weeks ago, I could maybe understand it a whole lot better. I just feel happy-go-lucky. But I've been thinking about how I'll handle the trip to Poland. And I thought, well, at the very least, I'll probably want to do a long fast just before the flight to Poland and the flight back, right? Maybe fast 48 hours before the flight. The flight goes another 12 hours, so make it a 60-hour fast. That I can handle. Uh, I'll probably handle that a whole lot better when I think about how I'll be able to diffuse air rage uh, when I'm in a good mood. I'll probably do the once-a-day fasting when I'm in Poland. And um, just before I go to see people I want to see in Poland, I'll probably do a two-day fast before then. So, uh... Five years ago, wow, I can't believe it's been five years. I was uh, staying in a hostel in Poland when I got along with um, the owner's um, daughter, if you could believe it. I was showing her how to view the planets and showing her some of the computer games I'm writing. Unfortunately, uh, she was uh, a little bit too young for me, so I thought I'll, 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 I'll come back when, when she grows up and see how, how that goes. The problem was that the next couple of years, our computer Olympiad was held in... Well, we had one in Macau and another one in Taipei. I never got to see her again. And then obviously we had the the disaster of the year where we couldn't go to any of those places, right? And uh, the hostel served as a quarantine facility, if you can believe it, for a year and a half. Now they're back to running the hostel... And I got to talk to uh, the girl, if you could believe it, now that she's um, almost graduating from college. And uh, so I'll probably want to fast at least, at least two days before I make my move on her when I go back to Poland. Uh, you get the, I wish I could make it a solid fast through the whole two weeks or however many weeks I want to spend there. But the next best thing is to think about the critical moments. Unfortunately, I've also learned that life happens 24-7, right? The, the moment you break your fast is, tends to be the moment the phone will ring and, you know, your boss wants to talk to you about challenges at work, right? The, the, the moment you, after you break the fast is the moment the girl at the, at the hostel wants to, to start an interesting conversation. I've learned that happens too. That's the unfortunate part. That's why I wish I could fast forever.